what's up guys? Kevin Anson with TheVideoCourse.com. So that lower third infographic you're seeing on the screen right now, I made that inside of After Effects and now I'm able to change the text on it right inside of Adobe Premiere without going back into After Effects. And I can even duplicate the lower third on my timeline so I can create multiple instances of it right inside of Premiere. I'll show you how to do that real fast. Let's check it out. And welcome back. I actually shot all of this B-roll you're seeing last week in Los Angeles. This home was completely restored after a massive flood in 2014. All right, so let's jump over to After Effects. And this is the lower third infographic right here that uh, I'm using to describe certain things to the viewer on screen during the video. Also, by the way, I'm giving away this lower third for free if you want it. There's a link in the description to download it. So watch this, it's really easy. All you have to do is open your lower third in After Effects, go to Composition, Composition Settings, click on the Advanced tab, and check this box right here that says Template, Unlocked Text Layers, Editable in Premiere Pro, and hit OK. Now, when you go back over to Premiere, and you import this lower third, I'm gonna throw it on the timeline here, so now, if you go to the Effects Controls tab, you can change all of the text in that lower third. So I'm gonna change some of this text real quick, just for fun. Test text, and I'm gonna hit Tab. And right away, you're gonna see it's changing over here already. And the other cool thing is that if I wanna duplicate this lower third and put it over top of this footage to put some different information, hold down the Option key and drag it over. Now, I can create a completely new, different lower third. And when I change this info right here, it's not gonna make changes to this one over here because now they're two completely different layers. So go here, click on this. I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna type in ABC in here. So now, if I go back to this one over here, it still has that same text we put in before. So now they're two completely separate lower thirds. Each time I duplicate this, It'll make a new layer in the project window. So we have three here, three over here in the project window. All right, well, as always, thanks for watching. I included that link below in the description to download the lower third infographic. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe. Feel free to leave your feedback and questions in the comments below. If you have a better, faster way of doing these things, please share that stuff. I love to hear it. If you have any suggestions for videos you'd like me to make a lesson about, join our Facebook group and let us know. See you next time.